Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing the upstyle that was worn by Christina Aguilera at the 2010 MTV Movie Awards. It's a take on a classic French twist that separates the top of the head from the bottom of the head. I think it looks really interesting. It's unique, but yet still classic at the same time. Looks challenging, but let's give it a shot and see how we do. So let's get started. So after I've got the hair prepped, I'm going to go through with the Jatai teasing pin comb. Take a small section, one finger on one side, two finger on the other sides, and then clamp down with my thumb. A few inches from the scalp, I'm going to go through, put a nice solid compact tease right down to the root. I'm not doing the old school where I tease it all the way out like a bouffant. I only need the teasing at the root to give it some control and some puff. And then I'll go through and do this to the entirety of this lower section. And I want to try to tease as many sections consistently as possible. So if I've done like five teases in one section, I want to do five teases in another section so I can keep my teasing compacted consistently throughout the whole side so I don't have one area being fluffier than the next. Give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai videos. So don't get too caught up on every section being teased five times. Some sections are going to be a little slippery, some are going to be a little slicker, so I might need a few more teases to get it in, but I'm looking for the same amount of compaction with the teasing at the root throughout the whole head. Now from here, after I've got everything done, I'm going to start brushing the front on one side back to the center. Now I'm gently brushing it. I'm not trying to pull my teasing out, just enough to make it look smooth. And I want this to go straight back over the ears. Come on, baby. There we go. Over the ears. Straight back into the middle. So I'm going to open up my pen. Go up a little bit off center. I'll take my next one. Cross that. Make sure it's right on the scalp. The next piece up cross that pen. So I'm crisscrossing these. And then the last one, I'm going to lock that pen in and go the opposite way. Clean this up as much as you'd like or until you get kind of, until it drives you crazy. So after I've done this part, We're going to go through and work on the other side. Do the same sort of thing where I'm brushing everything smooth to the back. Get everything twisted in. Then we're going to take hairpins, put in, comb over, and go under my bobby pin. Okay, I don't like the way that's sitting. So we're going to take these out and I'm going to recomb it. See, that's the good thing about having that really, really secure bobby pin base underneath is it's easier for me to reset this part here that's combing over it if I don't like the way it's falling in. So now we've got our foundation for the bottom half. We've got everything kind of going back. We've got a nice French twist in the middle here. I need blonde hairpins, but you get the idea. So a bobby pin goes in the base, and then the hairpin, as I put in and pin the hair, it goes underneath the hairpin and locks the bobby pin in, or 
the bobby pin locks the hairpin in. So that's how you get such a strong base, and this is not going to go anywhere. We'll hairspray it to death as well, but that is nice and solid. We got a nice, even, smooth shape. Now we're going to go on to the top. So we have this little pigtail that sticks out here. So once I tease the top and get that molded over, this will get folded into the top, and that's how I'm going to blend the bottom into the top seamlessly. Now this is the only part that really differs from a traditional um, French twist in that I have to smooth out both sides on the top. The traditional way I only really have to smooth out one side because the other side covers the opposite side. Well here I have to smooth out both sides and keep everything together. So once I got everything kind of combed smooth on both sides we're going to comb everything over one way. We've got our little sprig right through there. Now I'm going to go through and the same thing I did underneath. I'm going to take my sprig out. So there's my sprig from underneath. I'm going to take everything over like I did underneath, plant my hairpin, plant my next hairpin, crisscross, like that, and then here around the front, I'm going to go backwards. Make sure I get that cross there around the front. So now this gives me a nice solid base that I can start molding this shape into and over. Start molding everything in. Follow us at Jatai Feather on your favorite social media. And then start rolling this under, seeing where that wants to fit and where that wants to live in. Once I feel like I got it, hair pins in. Going underneath the bobby pins. All right, so here's our, our end results. We got uh, separation on our French twist from top to bottom. Usually that's all molding together. We got separation on this side as well. We got everything crisscross in the back. We got a pretty good shape going up here. I need a little bit more length on top to get this to really go over like I wanted, but I think overall the shape looks pretty good. So the keys to this, good root teasing, crisscrossing your bobby pins, and then the hairpins going underneath the bobby pins to maintain and hold that shape on top. Being patient while you're molding it and just trying not to be too heavy handed, being delicate, but yet still controlling the hair well. Check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there uh, from haircutting to barbering to styling to shaving, all kinds of good stuff. I think it's beneficial to you to check it out. Also, let us know what you'd like to see in the future and we will see you next time. Thank you so much.